Oh, I didn't see you come in. Hi, I'm Brett Nelson. I'm going to talk today about this hot tip, which is finding a peripheral vein for difficult to access patients. Okay, so a couple of key things to keep in mind when you are using ultrasound to find a peripheral vein for vascular access is one, make sure that you're holding your hand stabilized on the patient so that you can apply just the right amount of pressure. As you can see on the screen here, too much pressure or even very small amount of pressure totally obliterates the vein. Um, so you want to be able to be stabilized in your hand and then control with your remaining fingers, first three fingers here, the amount of pressure you're applying. So when I see some structures uh, here, and I'm using contrast basically to detect the difference between black and the surrounding gray, I see some candidates here that might be vascular structures. So the next thing I'm going to do is put just a little bit of pressure. And notice that with just a small amount of pressure, the vein collapses, and a little bit more pressure, the artery starts to pulsate. So this is really the whole key without even having to invoke duplex or Doppler or color or any other more fancy bells and whistles, just using standard two-dimensional echo um, that you can see the difference between a vein, which collapses, and an artery, which pulsates. And it's important to do it slowly because if you just compress really quickly, you can get an artery and a vein to collapse. So notice here that I'm putting a little too much pressure, so the vein is totally collapsed. I've centered myself on the artery, and then I'm double checking that it collapses, and of course it collapses, right? So you don't want to do it like that because you'll mistake an artery for a vein. No pressure at all. Look, I don't even have full contact on the edge of the screen. Put just a little bit of pressure. The, the vein gets smaller, collapses, and the artery pulsates. Okay, so that's how you can tell the difference between an artery and a vein to make sure you're cannulating the proper vessel. That's your hot tip for the day. Now you give it a try.